Every Catholic church has an Advent wreath that we blessed last Sunday, and some families have such wreaths as well. Does yours? Hello, this is Father Kubicki, here to talk about Advent wreaths. According to tradition, the origins of the Advent wreath go back to a custom of the pre-Christian Germanic peoples. During the cold and dark days of December, they would make wreaths with evergreen branches and light fires, signs of hope that winter would turn to spring when the world would change from white to green and the long nights would yield to longer days of light and sun. At some point, Christians took this custom and gave it a Christian meaning. And that's good because, as Vatican II tells us, the Holy Spirit was at work throughout history preparing people for Christ. Now we see in the circle of the wreath a sign of eternity, the circle having no beginning and no end, just like God. And the green branches, as they did for the pre-Christian peoples, represent hope, but not a hope that spring will come again, rather the hope that an eternal spring will come when Jesus will return to bring a new heaven and a new earth, his kingdom. And the candles represent light, but not the light of a longer day, rather the light of an eternal day when the darkness of sin will be overcome. Ultimately, all light points to the light of the world, not the sun, S-U-N, but the sun, S-O-N, the son of God who became a human being to drive out the darkness and bring the light. A simple wreath, but loaded with symbolism and a reminder that God uses the things of creation the common, ordinary things around us to teach us.